So hello everyone, so today I will be doing a tutorial on the ZS NES NES emulator. So just go to the website, ZS NES website and download their emulator and put it into a directory and make a ROMs folder and put all dump all the ROMs in the into that subdirectory or directory. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the controls. So I'm going to go to inputs. So I'm going to configure the controls right now. So up. So this one is. It's already set up, and I'll, I'll be just going through it just for this tutorial. So left. Start is enter. But select is M. A is C, B is X, X is C, Y is V, L is A, R is 8, S, I'm sorry, so that's for the device one, that's configured. So as for the port key or the cycle for player one, I'm gonna put set that as N. I have a tutorial on this part, so I'll leave it in the video descriptions or the end screen for that. So I'm just gonna run a game. So uh, let's say this doesn't exist, so I'm just gonna go to the directory where my ROMs are it will be in a for me it will be in a folder called emulator SNES then ROM these this is where all my ROMs are so I'm just gonna run a game right now show you that it works so this thing will run um, zipped ROM files or not zipped ROM files. Either, either one. Okay, I'm gonna start it. To do now is I want to save the state so it's saving the gameplay at this moment so I want to go back and load that state able to save and load a state so did that I was able to load a ROM you could also change the video resolution here okay, I changed the video resolution it's changed to 1024 by 
that. That's all you really have to do to run the game. You could also change the speed here. And you could play around with these settings if you want, but I really don't care about it. So this is just a quick, simple tutorial on how to run the ZSNES emulator. Thanks for watching by Ace 1000KS 1975. Signing off.